Are you positive you're using the right stance in archery? It can make the difference between effortless consistency and constant struggle. In this episode of Archery Basics Explained, I'm gonna cover the various different stances from close to open and explain to you the pros and cons of each and how you can find the best stance for you. So I'm working on a little bit of a mini series here with Archery Basics Explained where I break down the basics and the fundamentals of archery in easy to follow and easy to consume bite sized formats. And today we're talking about stance in regards to open versus closed stance. I've got an arrow here and I'm gonna put it on the ground to simulate the shooting line. This shooting line runs perpendicular to my target so you can use that in reference to how I place my feet. Very briefly, closed stance is essentially parallel to the target line with your feet facing straight away from it at a 90 degree angle from the target itself. An open stance is where you start to open your feet and almost start to face your target but not quite that much from 5 to 20 degrees of open stance relative to the target. In very few cases people will do an overly closed stance where they will start to face away from the target but that's very rare. So a closed stance is very simple, it's very basic and straightforward. It's just straight down the target line. There is no openness, no change in position other than feet and hips pointing straight to your target. I can also use an arrow as an additional reference pointing towards the target. So that way you'll have an additional visual reference. So again, closed stance is very simple, very easy to follow, and it's, it's great for beginners because it's consistent and easy to do. Let's go over first some pros of the closed stance. It's very easy to get and it's very comfortable. And it also makes things a little bit easier when it comes to getting into alignment. That means essentially being in a straight line from the tip of my elbow to my grip when at full draw. As I start to open my feet and open towards the target and use an open stance, I am now adding a little bit more of stability into the system because my platform is slightly shifted from the plane than I am at full draw, which allows me to engage my core a little bit more to add a little bit more stability to get into this twisted position. The drawback of using an open stance is that it is a little bit harder to get into alignment because you have to add a little bit more of this rotation and it requires a little bit more effort. Again, the benefit of that is having that core engagement to make you a little bit more stable. But as you get more and more and more open, you will start to potentially run into limitations with range of motion and flexibility. So if you're not a very flexible person, open stance may not be for you. The way you can tell is if you're really struggling to get into the position that you normally would be with a closed stance to get it in that same position when using an open stance. It's important to note that as you go from open to closed, your hips always stay over your feet. So if I'm using a closed stance, my hips are straight and parallel to my feet, which is parallel to the target. If I'm using an open stance, my hips are over my feet, and now I twist my upper body, keeping my hips over my feet. As you can tell, that's where the limitation of range of motion and flexibility comes into play. But again, it's a trade-off of comfort versus stability. Stance is a very basic thing that can be easily repeated, but it is also something that you can adjust on your own and play with, either in your backyard like I am now, at the range when you go to it later today hopefully, or potentially in your bathroom in front of a mirror practicing your form with your bow. Stand there with a closed stance, aim at yourself, okay? Open your stance and aim at yourself and see, do you feel any more stable? Consider using it outside in a windy environment. You'll be able to notice the difference between a closed and an open stance. Just note that wherever you end up shooting, you should try to use the same stance from shot to shot. You're not going to want to constantly vary the way you're standing. It's something that is easily repeatable and easily controlled. And if you don't have a shooting line to shoot on when at your range, you can set an arrow down on the ground just like I am now, even in a cross or an X pattern like this, so you can get your stance down exactly the same every single time. In archery, consistency is key, and it starts with stance. If you like Archery Basics Explained, please comment below and let me know some of the topics you're interested in hearing about. I wanna make sure I'm producing relative content for people out there just like you who want to know more about the fundamentals of archery. Consider sharing this video, it genuinely helps this channel grow. Do hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that way you're notified when I upload more Archery Basics Explained videos. And consider supporting this channel and the various different links in the description below. 
Thanks for watching.